What is going on guys? Welcome back for another video. Um, today, what we will be doing to the first gen is we got the truck over here, as you can see, and over here we have a new trans cooler and trans cooler lines. Now these lines are 448, like an 03 common rail. Uh, so I hope they'll work. We may have to get modify them a little bit. I don't know, like get some these ends here we may have to get a little bit of an extension made to be able to fit the cooler um, this isn't any like crazy like fancy cooler or nothing um, eventually I want to put a derail or derali however you say it I've never figured out how to say that but uh, I would like to put one of those with a fan underneath somewhere but uh, for now what we're gonna do is I have mine behind the inner cooler between the radiator and the inner cooler um, it's just a cheap one TCI cooler that I have right now now the reason I'm changing it is mostly for those lines because uh, those are really nice lines um, this one has rubber lines just it's just the factory lines running up into the cooler that I have right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start ripping the front end apart and we are gonna put the cooler in there and then we will run the lines to the transmission Alrighty, so we had to pull the bumper off, this little trim piece, I believe they call that the gravel pan, um, intercooler out obviously, and then here's the cooler that I had, and you can see it was leaking a bit right there at that fitting, um, these rubber lines right here, right here they weren't leaking, but on the other end, over there by the battery they were leaking, so this was a very redneck setup. I wouldn't recommend anyone do this. Um, the biggest reason I changed it is because those rubber lines were leaking and I couldn't get them to stop. I retightened the clamps, did different things to it, and finally said, you know what, I'm just going to put the new cooler in it. So as you can see, it's just held in there by zip ties. This is something we did one night when it was late because we just wanted to get it done because when we were putting the inner cooler in it. Um, this, it does have a 7.3 intercooler in it, most of you guys know that already, but uh, if you didn't, you can go watch my video, I'll put a link up in the corner somewhere for that, but uh, yeah, we're going to get this ripped out of there, and then we're going to start mounting the new one, and then we will run the lines.
Alrighty, so after a bunch of messing around, we finally got it in there. Um, so what I had to do is take those brackets that it had and cut them a little bit shorter. That way they would fit, because it was meant for the uh, these the outlet and the inlet to be like facing up and down, I believe. Or obviously it was for a different truck, so that might ha not have been the case. But either way, we got it in there. Um, it is very solid. You can see, I mean, it's that's the bolts in here rattling. Let's move that off of there so you can get a better idea. But uh, it's not going anywhere. It's in there solid. So now we just need to run the lines, put the intercooler back in. I didn't really film putting it in. Like I said, it was a bunch of tedious work. Basically, mock it up, put it up there put the intercooler in, redo it a little bit, check it again, back and forth. So, we got it in there now, just run the lines. Okay, so we got the uh, lines loosened on the transmission. We're letting those drain out a little bit. Up here, there is a, uh, a deal that holds it right here. I believe it's a 12 or 13 millimeter nut for the stud there. And then there is another one back near the back there. Um, we're gonna pull these clamps off. I know it's really hard to see, but uh, there's two clamps that go to rubber lines right here. So we're going to pull those off, let this drain out, and then pull the lines out of the out of the truck. Okay, so we got everything torn off. You see up in there, well, you can't really see the front one. It's kind of covered by the shift bracket. But we got everything out. And here's everything. Obviously, nasty rubber hoses. We just cut the ends off because we're not going to reuse them or anything. So, now, it's time to get these out. Get the fittings off the ends, put them in the transmission, and then run the lines. Alrighty guys, so we got everything put in here. Got the lines ran down there. They actually ended up being a little too long, so it kind of made for a problem. But I got them run the best I know to have them run. We got down here, underneath, we got everything wrapped up as well. There's the rear one, front one's kind of hidden. We had to trim our shifter bracket for a shifter linkage to get it to fit. So it's kind of hard to see, but we got everything run. Had to make ourselves some little clamps to hold it because O'Reilly's didn't have anything. So what we're going to do before we put the intercooler back in is we're going to start it up, let it idle, and just run it through the gears real quick. Let the fluid circulate. Probably just idle it in neutral and then put it in like reverse and drive. Just make sure that there's no leaks anywhere. And yeah, we are Almost done if we don't have any leaks. Alrighty, so ran it a little bit idled it in neutral, didn't run it very long, put it in gear for a little bit and uh, I don't see any leaks. The fluid there on the ground is just from earlier so I believe everything is good. There's a little bit of residual at the one fitting but I believe it was some that I hadn't gotten cleaned off but uh, yeah everything's looking good. We're gonna put the intercooler back on it, put the whole front end back together and I believe 
that is going to be it for the trans cooler install. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap up the transmission cooler install on the first gen. Um, I'm really happy how it turned out. Um, took a little bit longer to do than I was hoping, but, you know, sometimes it's just how things are. But, uh, yeah, it turned out great. I couldn't be any happier. Um, there are a few things, I mean, like I said in the beginning, I would really like to go with one of the coolers with a fan and then um, AN fittings and all that, but this works great. This is something we just had laying around the shop. Um, so yeah, that is going to do it. I would drive it, but the roads are really nasty right now. It just snowed a lot, so I really don't want to drive it in the salt. So, I mean, I know it's rusted out already, but I don't want to get it any worse than it already is. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one.